Dick, you can forget that first round win. These coaches have to tell their kids it's one and done in this second round game between the Kentucky Wildcats and the Kansas State Wildcats. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Wildcats are facing a very formidable opponent, Dick. What are the keys to their success? Hey, tonight the keys to their success are these, Brad. First of all, it's up to the point guard to be the leader to control the entire tempo of the game. Second, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. And lastly, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Three. He nails the shot. Got big right now. Got to focus defensively. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Now trying to feed the low block. He tries a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Adam. Momentary look from three-point. Look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the great defense. Draws the whistle off the pro. Basket's good, plus one. He showed how a senior is supposed to play in big games, baby. Shepard goes to the line for the first time. He makes it. Weaver is emotionally pumped up. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Went away from the post and goes the other way. And the ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. They work it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. Got a guy right on him. Trying to feed the low block. They work it back to the outside with a deep shot from outside. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. They'll work it around the arc. Down inside. There's the trap. The fake sets the screen for his teammate. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He gets the bucket to fall. He's got to move the ball. The shooting guard takes the pass from right at the circle. Another look. The power forward gets the pass. With a little baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn.
Looking for a good shot. Lobs it. Jumps into the defender. And he scores it off the glass. They go into the low block for two. Perfectly executed. He gets the shot to fall. They move it into the front court. Great play to take that to the basket. trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. And off the mark. Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. The center takes the feed for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Post flasher is open. Steals a pass. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it there. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. And the ball goes out of bounds. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Tries a three. Gets it to go. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. perimeter stop and pop great shot Roberts picks up the foul He keeps his dribble as they reset. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He starts the fast break. Goes up for two. The power forward with the ball. Tries for two. For two. He drains it. Moving it around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Shoots from outside. Tickles a twine.
Gave it up. Great anticipation defensively. On the dribble, gives it up. There he is, strips the ball loose. Here they go, into the break. He puts it up, way off target. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Left wing. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Well, the arc looked good. Secures the board. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Gave it up. The power forward gets the ball. He fakes the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. From three-point territory, he buries the shot. Frustration right there. On the dribble, gives it up. For the bucket. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. You've got that right, Brad. He steps up to the line. First one, good. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Picks off the pass. With the fake, gave it up, isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough, and a great reaction by the defensive post player. Looking for a good shot. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Kick it back outside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Tries for two. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From downtown, it's good. with it. Fires it down. And the dribble gives it up. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. Pushes it up for two. Perfectly executed. Watch this.
defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. High post player flashing. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. Oh, what a strip, Brad. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Stolen away. They're off into transition. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Do a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Jumped in front to take it away. There should be an easy bucket here, Mr. Nestler. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker, elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? Accepts it. Jumps in. Weaver makes the finger roll. Working it around the perimeter. He rejects it. Up and inside. Ten seconds to shoot. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He pulls the trigger, makes it. at home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. From right in the circle. Kansas State are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. For the bucket. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. 
He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. Looking for a good shot. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Weaver in the paint. Tries the turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Goes up for two. I love this guy hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Look at that spacing. He shoots from outside. Nice shot. Hey, one basket, Brad. If they can get some points here, the crowd will be extremely happy. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great play. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. The ball goes out of play. Got the post flashing if he wants it. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. Controlling the ball. Another turnover. And they're not talking out the turnovers either. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Kansas State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they're starting to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Number 25, pump fakes. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't go with the six man for no reason. Intercepted. He fires from long range. Got it. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups.
The Wildcats are at the bottom of the emotional scale at the moment. They could really be in some trouble right here, Dick. I think they've reached that point, Brad. That's exactly what happens when you get away from playing team basketball. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand not too long ago. <laughs> That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The first half sounds nothing as these teams remain deadlocked and through the second half. It's a close one, folks. What have you got, Dick, as your play of the half? No bigger shot in the first half for me than this three ball from downtown, baby. Teams build the confidence they need when the threes are falling. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. Kansas State is shooting very well from the floor right now, Dick. They're getting good looks, man, and they're not letting them go to waste. That's how you win games, man. Offensive execution. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Roberts handles the pass. Strips the ball. Nice shot. That's still unanswered. Steals the pass. Alley oop. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the outside. Trying to draw the foul. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. That's a momentum buster. He's here to fight, baby. Up and inside. Dumps it in for the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. In the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. That's a breakdown. I don't drive a coach bananas. I'll be the loser here. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from right of the circle. Goes. Fakes it. Now the high screen. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he may but they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Fake. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. The point guard handles the feed. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Roberts receives the ball. Intercepted. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was rocking on the box. Stolen ball. Oh, what a great job transition offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. You're allowed to convert. Get the number game going.
Great defense. Goes up for two. That's good. Jumped in front to take it away. Basket's good. It was on its way down. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Look at the moving around the perimeter. He wants a three. Kentucky have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. That's basic. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure into basketball. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Mack receives the pass. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Dump it inside. He lets it go. Tickles a twine. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. With the fake. Lobs it. He strokes it. Gotta make that baby at a wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass for easy goose. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The offense is having a hard time finding the open look. Great defense. For the bucket, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Gave it up. Got the shot if he wants it. They're working around the perimeter. On the outside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Look at this guy's speed. I mean, he just puts pressure, pressure, pressure on the defense all the time the way he takes and attacks the basket. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Working it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. The kick out. Way out on top. He got the bucket to go, and he'll have the chance to add one more. He saw the foul coming, Brad, but he got it up anyway.
The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. They're definitely having some fun out there. He goes to the line for the first time. Just like in practice. From right in the circle, it sticks. Puts it up, looking for contact. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Ten seconds to put up a shot. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from right of the circle. He nails the bucket. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He fouled him. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. Hey, tell me, we got a replay ready for that one, Brad? Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Picked off. And the ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Picks off the lazy pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He shoots from left of the circle. Knocks it down. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of play. Steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Kentucky have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks for three. He makes the shot. The double team can't contain him. That's not how you work a double team, Brad. You're not going to go show him the double team. Pushing that basketball. Gave it up. He puts up the tray. Nope. The defensive rebound coming the other way. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. For the deuce. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Number 14 walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. Gets the second shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great shot. The Wildcats are up by four. He looks at the hoop. He tries the jump hook. Doesn't go. Shots there if he wants it. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. He's money with a shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Perfectly executed. The Wildcats are up by seven. Towns it's receiving a lot of support from the fans. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. He takes the rebound. He's got some room. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. There they come with a double team to stop it. He comes away with it. Moving it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. They're working around the perimeter. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He misses it. Yes! Momentary look from three-point land. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. For two. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Wide open for the shot. Top of the circle. Makes the shot. With the jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. They work the perimeter. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. That's basic. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. Dump it inside. Looks at a three. He gets it to fall.
Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the rejection. They push it up on the break. It's not uncommon to have a few high rises on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. He launches a three. He nails the shot. Fires away. Buried it. Jumped in front to take it away. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He fires away. He gets that one to fall. On the outside, got an open look if he wants it. From right at the circle, he's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cat down. He shoots from the angle. He hits it. Here's a double team. Robs him of the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They are red hot from behind the arc, Dick. They're rolling on all cylinders right now. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. Pushes it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Number 34 comes in for his first go-around tonight, Dick. I'll tell you, the offense doesn't miss a beat when this guy comes in. Misses them both. Goes and gets it. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the bank is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Number 21 checks in off the pine for his first action. Hey, this guy will tear it up if you let him, Brad. Tries for two, and he scores despite the hack. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. He gets the shot to fall. Hard foul. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and they're active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Takes away the pass. Step out on that screener. Anderson pounded on his way up. 
Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. First shot is good. Misses the second. He pulls down the rebound. They work the perimeter. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Wildcats graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.